I said to myself, that little causeway looks but ugly, and I wanted to build something that looked nicer. At the top of each one of these arches, as you can see, is a little glowstone no nodule, which gives it the which gives it the name, or why I thought of the name Three Rings Bridge, because it kind of looks like sort of a diamond ring, sort of, sort of, not really. Um, I, I again built this before sandstone was mineable as an actual block, and these were installed before you could put um, fence posts on top of one another, so I had to string them down from the bottom on every single one of these. The glowstone was collected before I was able to collect glowstone at a one-to-one -one ratio. So this was back when glowstone would only drop one powder. So I had to get quite a lot. I had to actually get um, nine glowstone. I think it was yeah back when the recipe called for nine glowstone. It might have been four. I don't know. But just to tell, just to give you an idea of how much glowstone I had to mine for each one of these. There's eight little blocks on each of the um, top of each of these arches. I had to break down a couple of the arches because they weren't lining up properly when I built it. And um, I really am proud of this. This is this is the thing I really am most proud of. In fact, it's still my wallpaper on my other computer. When my wife has several users set up on the main PC in the house. And uh, whenever I log on to my side of the computer as a user, um, I get to see my, my bridge. As always, I always set up, like I said, a little forward operating base when I'm building things, and uh, this shelter predated the bridge, but I called it Bridge View anyway, and it uh, you know, has a basic setup and a bed. I uh, this also just happened to be set up um, when. They made it so that mobs would go inside houses if you were up against a wall. Um, that was that was new a while back. Once upon a time, when beds were first in, made, it didn't matter where you really put the bed. <laughs> um, but uh, I, I built fences around this to kind of bump out the, the block so that they can't get in. See? Keeps them out. So if you want to put a bed up against the wall, just remember you gotta put fences around your house like that. The uh, the new way the fences work, um, actually, I kind of like how they look on this. It kind of gives this a uh, nice nice aesthetic. Ouch. The other part of this episode, and here's the other thing about this episode: I don't plan on screwing it up this time. <laughs> Um, so, I'm going to also show you my mob spawner. I'm going to get you in there and show you kind of how it works. I I forgot to, to date it because I forgot when I started. That tells you how long it took me to build it. Normally, I'll say, okay, I started on, let's say, oh, four days ago, I guess, or two days ago. I can't even remember the day I started this mob spawner. I really can't. But I have been kind of poking away at it, improving it, and it's a little pet project of mine. I don't do it all the time, but uh, I keep trying to upgrade it and make it better. Um, my latest upgrade was that on the inside I put ladders around the, the skirting, as uh, skirting around each of the spawning platforms. So it was a test. I wanted to see if... I could prevent mobs from climbing the walls like spiders so I could get a higher string yield. Yeah, this sets off the dungeon noise every single time. And there's a lot of water running in this. You hear the water running? Yeah. This is, uh, that's because behind every one of these is the start of, um, one of my filtering channels. Or, uh, conveyor channel, sorry. And here we are, back at where we began. And it's coming on night again. Where's the more? 
No, it's night. Yeah, that's right, because I showed you the bridge. Um, so, yeah, this is a better view of it. This is a 32 by 32 block um, mob spawner. Three floor. I was going to go five, but then I said, that's ah, going to be too much. And it was actually a pretty good decision to only make it this big because um, I have later found out through current updates and later updates that they have severely nerfed, tried to nerf these. And I'm going to say right now, I haven't had a single problem spawning monsters since they've updated because I've kept it to a small degree. And I stay close to my mob spawner while I'm waiting for the mobs to spawn. Um, I do occasionally have to, uh, quote-unquote, stir it up by heading outside during the day. I don't do it at night because obviously I'm running this on, uh, I have to run it on a higher difficulty. But I run around it and that stirs it up. That basically gets mobs to spawn up there and then they'll wander around and then they'll fall down. Mobs don't um, move if they're a certain distance away from you now. By the way, I should mention, I'm now filming this, and this is in 1.1. Um, they've added some stuff. I'm not going to go into it, because you can find these um, these updates and upgrades through patch notes. People have made other videos about it. This is about me showing you my world. Here I have my... Uh, this this I wrote down as the if I ever want to make cake. So, take notes, folks. This is how you make a cake. Top, milk sugar and egg and more sugar than wheat so this is the storage room of my mob spawner it doesn't have any chests in it just yet like i said i've still been working on it um and i have some exploratory tunnels back when i was trying to get the um when i was trying to connect it connect up the one side to the other i was digging around looking for how to get there so i dug a lot of tunnels so the underside of this this thing is just chock full of random blind tunnels running everywhere. As I was digging this out, I busted into a cave, so that's why there's a trapdoor there. I could have just blocked it off, but I don't like blocking off caves, if I can help it. I like to open caves, because it's fun, it's part of Minecraft. Alright, it's night, and I kind of want to show you this during the day, so we're going to go to sleep for the second time this episode. Okay, good morning. Let's cook me up some bacon. Yeah, it's pork chops, I know. Cook that up, I'm going to need food. Alright. Um, do I have any other food? No. I have a, an enchanted helmet. Hello. I can put an enchanted helmet on. Uh, hmm. They say two enchanted items. I mean, two items that loses enchantment when you try to... Hmm. I don't think it would, anyway. If you uh, put two items in the crafting grid, it, it repairs them. That was something that was added a while back, and I've actually used it a couple of times. Comes in handy. Oh, that's the last thing I want to show you. Sorry. <laughs> um, I've added on, added on to this. So first things first.